Metro Trains has issued an apology to passengers after thousands of racegoers were left stranded on the trip home from Derby Day. Many managed to climb out of carriages as the wait proved too much. More from Stephanie Anderson. After a long day trackside at Flemington, this was a less than ideal route home for racegoers. Anyone else? Stuck in major delays, passengers took matters into their own hands, opening carriage doors and climbing out after a train fault brought services to a standstill. Boiling hot on the train, there was, you know, obviously full of a lot of inebriated people. There was people, um, you know, vomiting on the floor and all that sort of stuff. We know how frustrating it was for all of our passengers yesterday and we sincerely apologise for the disruption at the end of the day. Metro says a faulty train was stopped between stations just before 6.30 last night and separate reports of trespassers near tracks came through moments later. But with services not resuming for close to 45 minutes, some fed up passengers refused to wait. That only exacerbated the delay. It's not appropriate for people to get off uh, the train, no matter how long the delay is. Metro says of the almost 50,000 people who travelled to Flemington by train yesterday, close to 5,000 were caught up in the delays and the Public Transport Users Association is calling for compensation. Something like a day's free travel um, is, 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 is the kind of thing that would normally be considered in, in a case like this. If we don't meet our service standards during this month of November, then compensation will be given to passengers under under the terms of the compensation regime. And with a big week of racing ahead, it's hoped the odds are low for any repeat of Connex's Oaks Day debacle in 2008. We're making sure that we're well prepared for the remainder of the Spring Carnival for Cup Day and Thursday and next Saturday. Stephanie Anderson, Nine News.